everyone. Today we are working with the Quick Slide 2 Plus. It is a um, automated hematology uh, slide stainer. It can stain both um, blood smears and bone marrow smears. Um, it does one slide at a time, so this is not for high volume laboratories. Um, since it's been sitting for a while, we're going to prime it first. So we press F4 to continue and then F1 to prime. So it drains out everything that it possibly has in the cuvette first. And it's also then going to prime the line. So right now it's priming the stain line. See it moving? That purple, the rinse is on the left and the waste is on the right. Okay, everything that goes in comes out and ends up going in the liquid waste. And that is not something you're going to dump down the sink, okay? Uh, so make sure you tell your professor when it's full. All right, so it's still draining the cuvette and priming everything, and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so now it's telling me how many cycles I have remaining. Um, I have 29 left, and I can either prime again or I can continue on, and I'm going to continue on. So F4, and like I said, we have blood smears today. This is not a good slide because of that rip right there, but that could have been in transport. It wasn't there when the slide was made. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and press F1 for the blood, and then it's going to prepare the cuvette when I press F4. So we have to wait, obviously. <laughs> it's preparing the cuvette. It's gonna add some stain in there. And when you put the slide in there, you want to make sure to place it so that the frosted edge is facing you. There is a little um, slide holder right there, a little slot. Okay, make sure you look at that when you're putting it in because there is a space in between here and if you put it back there, it's not gonna do anything for you. Okay, so press stain when you're ready and now it's going to stain. Okay, this is going to be a few steps and it's going to constantly count down in each step and I'll get back to you when it goes to the new step. Okay, so we're at the end of the stain then it's going to drain the stain. Like I said, it goes back. See how it's going into the waste back here? Very cool. So it's draining it out. Now it's going to fill it with buffer. See how it's coming up, rising up in the cuvette? And that's going to be for 30 seconds. Okay. It's swishing it around a little bit. And now it's going to drain. Now we're going to be doing the rinse step, and then after that it should be done. During any time that you might need to cancel this process, you just press F1. Um, this is the end now. Okay, I did not cancel it. And so here's the slide. That looks much better um, than the first one I had done on here. If you do it, um, if it's been sitting for a while and you have not primed it before you start, you'll get a slide that looks like this, and that's not good. There is stain all the way through here, um, but it is not evenly distributed, okay? So that's going to be a really crazy slide to look at. Um, this one is much better. Okay, so that's the end of that. Uh, you would then move on to your microscope and uh, do whatever it is you're doing, whether it's just a blood smear review or if you're doing a white cell differential. Um, and that's it for now. Um, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and uh, like it down below and subscribe to my channel. I try to add uh, videos as much as I can. Bye.